Hello there. Allow me to fix your life with four words. Rocket powered great sword. Yes, that's right. Get your rocket powered great sword today. Smash heads, smash tails, travel in style. Watch the sunset go down, then take it back to your tent. Sword. Is all you'll ever need. Get yours today. The spring festival is in full bloom. Oh, and it really is beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's just so nice to look at. The, the flower poogie, I guess, is also pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, the Wyvern Igniter, the rocket powered great sword, it is glorious. So, firstly, where do you acquire it from? Well, sidle on over to the Hubless, like in your new outfit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, I don't go outside a lot. And you want to grab yourself the Every Hunter's Dream and kill yourself Palumu and Rathalos like four or five times if you don't get lucky with your tickets. And then you crafted at the smith using some basic materials on top of that. Really quite simple. The actual weapon itself then. So Wyvern Ignition is seriously impactful and it's rare for a fan created weapon design to actually be so meta definingly powerful. Because make no mistake, this is now the best greatsword in the game, unless the monster you're facing is seriously weak to dragon, like the maximum weak to dragon, then a handicraft anguish build will still outperform it. But on 80% of the game, we are going to be rocking the sexiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm including, I'm including, uh... Danny here, don't don't tell her though, but I mean it's a rocket powered great so she can't compete with that. I'm 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 not gonna lie. And this gives us some beautiful power out the box. 1008 displayed attack, which is 210 raw, which is 20 less than anguish, however, it can take non-elemental boost, putting it to 231, so one higher. Minus 15% affinity is easily counted, and then two slots to work with, two augments, you'd want affinity and then health, the most bang for your buck, and it actually has so much fire that against a seriously weak monster to fire like Val, it's almost worth freeing the element and putting fire attack 5 because it can take all 5 ranks of the skill and perhaps even shooing in some elemental greatsword fun, which is a rare thing that you get to do here. So what is the best set for this just... <clears throat> It's actually quite simple, and it's very similar to the Jagras Hacker old setup, except we're swapping out the Nergy Helmet for the eye patch, and we're swapping out the Exploited Charm for the Mighty Charm. This nets us attack boost. It would be 4, and it can be up to 7, if I had the jewels, but I mean, come on, attack jewels aren't real. <laughs> They're not real. <laughs> I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Weakness exploit 3, focus 3, uh, maximum might 3, crit boost, protective polish, and non-elemental boost. See, you want to use protective polish with this. Having natural white sharpness is amazing because of this fact. Trying to cram in handicraft means that you have to cut corners on the other core greatsword skills. And the thing is, you'd get in 2-3 points of handicraft if you still wanted your build to be good, and that's about to sharpen every minute, minute and a half, which is how often you'd sharpen with protective polish anyway, so there's no reason to cut your other skills for handicraft when protective polish and the 3 grinders you can put in for nearly instant sharpening do the job just fine. This gives us so much real estate to play with so many other things, because for me, even if I had 4 attack jewels, I'd only put one more in to get that rank 4 and 5% to make the base affinity on the weapon 0% with the augment, meaning that with max might and weakness exploit we're up to 80% affinity, which is fantastic, and then I would keep the speed sharpening 3, because it really does save that much time and make you have that much more time hitting the monster. So it's not the most complicated set in the world, it just works really well, and I genuinely don't think there is a way to come up with a 
better all-round set for this weapon, which is good because it looks pretty damn snazzy too. I am a big fan of this setup. So an amazing looking powerful weapon, an amazing looking powerful set, I mean, I, I, I could cry. I could, I could, I could, I could cry. Oh, so how are we actually liking the visuals of the weapon? Well, it is just glorious, isn't it? This thing is sleek. It's got this lovely metal look to it. The actual engine on it looks fantastic. It's got like this smoldering crystal that seems to be powering the whole thing. We have six separate jet engines that ignite as you charge up and the pipes going down it to exhaust the weapon as it powers up and the whole thing looks amazing. The blade isn't too thick which is my issue with the Val Sword, and ah, oh, it's just fantastic, and it really does hit like a truck. We can start seeing some fantastic numbers when we hit the upper echelons, and that is really what we want to see as great sword users, because of course, we use the large numbers that we produce in a video game to make up for the crippling disappointments that we are in real life. I think I can speak for all of us there, but yeah, I am so super pleased with this thing. I really am, and there's just not much to say about it. It looks amazing. It's easy to build for. It is amazing, and just generally, it, oh, it's it's rare. It is rare that this happens. I had a good old scrap with Tempered Pickle with it, which was fantastic fun. And when you really start hitting your weak spots with this bad boy, you're going to see some crazy output. I mean, granted, it's very, very similar output to the Anguish. Make no mistake, if you prefer the Devil Joe Sword, because I don't know, there's something wrong with you, then you can use that completely the same. But really, it should be one of those two if you care about, you know, fully min-maxing. But that's not to say the other previous top dogs aren't totally viable, they are, but I don't think anyone could really disagree that this is a badass looking weapon. And the thing is, it's so badass it can burn magma. Yep, it, it can just straight up burn already literally liquid magma, magma. ground. Yep, there you go guys, fire, fire trumps magma, which... As a One Piece fan is not something I'm used to saying. Either way, <laughs> is that obscure? I have no idea how many of my audience actually actually even likes anime. Because I reference it a lot, but at the same time, I feel like I might just be coming across as a massive nerd. Then again, you're all watching a video on how to get the most out of a, a rocket sword. So really, can you judge me is is my main quote. You probably still can. And there's even cool details like the fact that if you use it underwater, the jet engines will actually ignite and you will suffer a 20% damage penalty. And only one of those two things are true. And I realize I'm blathering, but I'm just happy. The Spring Festival is fantastic. We've got this amazing weapon. Like, how lucky that the one weapon I like most of all gets this is the winner. Like, I, I feel like I'm going to wake up at any moment. I really do. Oh, and by the way, with protective polish on, obviously it means you can't lose sharpness, which means blocking with the greatsword is even more viable because, well, you can't lose sharpness. So it gives you a nice little extra safety net with that because as you should know blocking with the great sword isn't some like <gasps> heathen it's a really powerful block and it's a really nice little tool in your arsenal and it can come in clutch in a lot of situations when you otherwise don't trust yourself or simply do not have time to get out of the way which is another little benefit that I have noticed you can also take out the grinder jewels and put in vitality to get that extra health to survive big hits which I would do against temp and joe because you can find time to sharpen you're not trying to get the uh, speed records there but for comfortable farming I would definitely keep the speed sharpening in but yeah there you have it guys that is the wide than it. Sorry, that is the... And uh, I absolutely adore it. Let me know what you think. Like if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. And I will see you next time. A good boy. I'm actually going to leave you with uh, my initial um, idea generation process for what turned into the intro of this, this uh, video. <laughs>
don't judge me. I just stood in the middle of my office doing this. Rocket powered great sword. 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 Why the igniter? Rocket powered great sword. 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 Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.